Hey guys, Tronic here. Welcome to my 123D design tutorial video. Sorry if my voice dropped out from time to time during the video, especially towards the end. I promise it won't happen again. Sorry. And let's go to the video. Go. Hey guys, Tronic here. In this video, I want to show you how to create a very basic 3D object using Autodesk 123D Design. This won't be a long or complicated video, hopefully. So all I want to show you is how to create a simple 3D object. So let's create our, well, let's say we want to create a cell phone stand. So first we want to start off with a sketch. Um, so we basically want to draw a 2D image of what we want to create. So I select sketch from the top menu right here, click on it, and now I can select the grid where I want to place the sketch, which is only the default grid I see right here. So I left click, and now I can create my rectangle by left clicking, dragging it. I also can type in the numbers. So let's say we want to make this, I don't know, 60 millimeters wide by 30 millimeters deep. So enter to lock the values and now you can left click to place it down. <clears throat> okay. So now we have a rectangle sketch. Now we want to make this 2D sketch 3D. So we select construct extrude from the top menu here. Click on it and now we select the 2D rectangle we just created left click and now we have this little arrow here we can drag out to create a 3d up so let's say we want to make this i don't know five millimeters high so this is just an example that values so five and five hit enter and object will be five millimeters high so now let's create another sketch on top of it this time we won't click the base layer but the box we just created so we select sketch rectangle and now we don't like it just said don't click here because um we want to draw on top of the box we just created so i click here let's switch to top view again you can easily navigate around the menu on the top right here so let's Uh, I'll switch to other graphic view because it's much easier to draw 2D stuff. In perspective view, like a real 3D image, it's other graphic view, it doesn't matter where we are on the screen, it will look like a box from the top view. So let's uh, draw a few more boxes. Oh. And maybe like this. Top of it. <clears throat> right. So have a few sketches. We want to again and click on this little green thing. <laughs> I don't know the name for it right now. Um, to exit the sketch mode, or we can simply hit escape. So let's extrude the rectangles we just created by pressing U for extrude or like it from. And you can also extrude multiple layers at a time if you hold down the shift key. Select them. So do this. Shift. Okay, now we have selected and we hit U. We can extrude the again. So let's say oh, we want to make them another five meters. Now let's get a view again. Same. Get rectangle. Right here again. Other sketch on top of it. 
<clears throat> and we extrude it again. You click. Say we want. No, oh, maybe. Okay. Almost done. <clears throat> right. So now we have our basic. But we want to angle it so our phone doesn't fall out, right? Okay, now let's go to the left. Create another sketch. This time we select a polyline. So it's not a basic rectangular or something like that. Um, this is like point to point. Right, so polyline. Now I select this. On this right. Okay. Now I can this. Angle. Okay. <clears throat> and now I want to extrude this again. Okay, so I could pull this out to create this, but now I want to go into the negative to delete. Drag it down and enter. And now, gone. Nice. Okay. Like a cell phone stand, right? Now let's we can do some more stuff to make it prettier. So, get a few more rectangular. This I want to select the base layer. Get a little more wrong. Damn. Oh, let's extrude this again. Oh, that hold down shift. Last one. Let's extrude this again. You and we want to extrude it again five millimeters. Now to add a little style to it, <clears throat> we can add a chamfer. This, and we want to, I don't know, four millimeters. Looks pretty good. Enter. And you have hotkeys for almost everything. So chamfer is, so I just press C, four, right. It looks nicer. Well, let's give this a rounded edge. You let B. And well, that looks And this is how to create a basic 3D structure, 3D design. Uh, what's also interesting is if you, for whatever reason, you want to add something there. Let's create just a simple object. You also have this primitives here. Create another box, just as an example. And on that this box is right there. Click on it and have this snapping tool. Select snap and I want to snap this solid to this. It'll snap automatically. It will be aligned perfectly. But let's say for example for whatever reason 
you want to do a little further inside. Ah, it's grouped. So let's move it. Transform. Move for take. Now I can move it around. So let's say I want to have it placed like this. This does work, but you may run into trouble when you want to 3D print it. Uh, because there is a layer inside. There's basically a solid inside a solid, which doesn't make much sense for it. Or your slicing program. So now we want to combine the object. And do this here. Merge. This. This. Enter. Now this is one object. Inside part basically gets put away and it becomes one solid object. Okay, and yeah. Just try stuff out, play around. It's not that complicated. I've been using this program only since a week or so, so I'm not an expert in it by any means. <laughs> but I hope I could help you with this little guide. I would like. So yeah, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or and if you liked it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload random stuff time to time. Have when I feel like to do so. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys and have a good day. Bye bye.